Now, our speaker for the day is someone we all know well, and he's working on the engaging humor path. He's at level two called Know Your Sense of Humor. The title of his speech is Safe at Home, Part One, and he says it's not about baseball. Hello, Toastmasters. Have you ever attempted to do something at home that was just a little bit beyond your capability? 23 years ago, I was living in Greenville, North Carolina. For those of you that don't know, Greenville is about 40 miles from the coast. Because of this, we are subject a lot of times to the storms that go through the Outer Banks and the Kitty Hawk area. One of those storms had just happened and it knocked down four oak trees on the easement line between our property and the neighbor. We had a 75 foot easement line. In my humble estimation and my can-do attitude, I thought we could go out there and clear a lot of this up. We had a gentleman that helped us around the house named Billy. He worked at the hospital with us, but he would come help us with things. Billy, my wife and myself, got our chainsaws, our ladders, all our gardening equipment and headed out. We were gung-ho. We could do this. I would run the chainsaw and cut the low hanging branches of the trees and Billy and my wife would haul them off. A lot of this would be good firewood for our wood burning heater. When, when, after about an hour and a half, all the low work was done and I had to put the ladder up on some of the higher branches. As I was up in the ladder with the chainsaw running, Billy would hold the bottom, the base. On about our third branch, I was up in the ladder and the chainsaw is running in my left hand and I have it out there and I'm cutting this branch and just before it's through all the way, the limb broke. It didn't break there. It broke here on the other side of the ladder. I was going to be a stew. What is going on? As the ladder started falling forward, I'm sure we've all had those instants in time where we said, time stood still. And I'm like, oh, this chainsaw's running. So I flipped it over that way and fell down. And as I fell down, I got my <clears throat> foot caught in one of the rungs of the ladder. And I was laying on the ground. And I have to tell you something, ladies. Men have learned, this is an unwritten men rule, and I know you have unwritten written women rules. No matter what, suck it up, be a man. Suck it up, be a man. I'm a nurse and I have worked in emergency rooms and I've taught first aid for the Red Cross for a number of years. So I quickly assessed myself that there were no broken bones and there was no blood spurting out everywhere. So I thought, I'll do fine. So I thought in the process that I would tell the people that were working with me that everything was great, but they were laughing so loud at me, they didn't, they could have cared less. They thought I was being burnt. I was being burnt. Finally, my wife said to me, are you okay? And in spite of the pain in my hip and, and, the, sh and the skin scraped off of my shin, I said, oh yeah, I'm fine. I said, Billy, get the chainsaw, it's still running 12 feet away. So I stood up gingerly hiding the pain in my hip. I surveyed the situation. The ladder was in front of me. I stepped forward and stepped right in a nest of yellow jackets. I look like a frog on a hot skillet. I was jumping around and they started laughing hysterically again. I'm jumping around. I have these yellow jackets all over me. I'm headed for the house. I'm trying to get, and finally, my coworkers noticed the little yellow perils that were on me and they helped whisk all the yellow jackets off of me. Thankfully, I headed into the house to a cold shower and some Benadryl. My ego and my body were bruised, but not broken. 
Southeast Tree Service came three days later and took out the four oak trees, the smallest of which had a two foot diameter, a little bit beyond my capabilities. I learned a number of things from this, encounter with nature. One of the things I learned is no matter where you're doing when you're working outside, always wear a hat, gloves, and long sleeves. Don't wear shorts when you're working in the yard. The other thing I learned is sometimes you think you have things under control and you really don't. Some things require a professional to come do them. You just got to suck it up, man, and realize we can't handle it all. We can't do it all. There's no way. Another thing that I found out, and I had to Google this, and you may Google it too, is that most accidents happen around home. I'm beginning to think maybe I should move. What do you think? Fellow Toastmasters. 